And we are back. Welcome to the Game Week 28 Premier League predictions video. And as we were about to talk about how funny it was that Arsenal got knocked out of the Europa League last night and what an unbelievable goal we saw from Pedro Goncalves last night, we instead have to talk about who would have been the opposing manager for Arsenal this weekend and their former player, Patrick Vieira. Because in the last 10 minutes before I've hit record on this video, Patrick Vieira has just been sacked by Crystal Palace. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments about that decision. I think it's a little harsh. We've spoken enough times on this channel about how I've enjoyed everything Patrick Vieira has been doing at Crystal Palace. I think he deserves a place in the Premier League as a manager. But the stats for this calendar year don't lie. No wins, only four goals scored in 11 games. And now Crystal Palace sit just three points above the relegation zone. So I understand the decision to remove him, but who's available to come in and can they stabilise their season? And can they give Crystal Palace the lift they need going into this weekend's game against Arsenal? We shall see. Like I say, let me know down in the comments your thoughts. We do, of course, have seven games this week in the Premier League, including that Arsenal Crystal Palace game. The four FA Cup games we will cover in tomorrow morning's video. So before we get into it, just a quick reminder, as always, for you to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Let's look ahead to those Premier League games. And we start with tonight's match. There is a game this evening, so a reminder to fantasy football fans to get your teams done today. My fantasy football video will be available for you at lunchtime. We start with Nottingham Forest and Newcastle. And to be honest, from what I've seen of these two clubs over the last couple of weeks, I only really see this being a Newcastle win. I'm going to go for 2-0. Nottingham Forest do have a very good home record, but I think defensively Newcastle will just be too good for Nottingham Forest. I could see this potentially being a 0-0 draw because Newcastle have not been the best offensively recently, but they seem to have revitalised a little bit in their last game. So I'm backing Newcastle to get the win tonight. On to tomorrow then. We start with Aston Villa and Bournemouth. Bournemouth, of course, off the back of that unbelievable win against Liverpool last weekend. Aston Villa still flip-flopping in terms of their form, but they do have a man on fire in Ollie Watkins, who I was very surprised not to see included in Gareth Southgate's England squad yesterday. Comment down below your thoughts on that as well. An awful lot to talk about today. I'm going to go for Aston Villa to take this one. I'm going to go for 2-1. I think Bournemouth definitely could get something here, the way they played against Arsenal, the way they played against Liverpool. They look like they're really up for the fight down there in the relegation battle. But I think Aston Villa just have that little bit too much quality and will eventually take the win. On to Brentford and Leicester. And actually, I'm going to go for the exact same scoreline as the last one. I'm going to go for 2-1 to the home side. Brentford playing very well against Southampton last time out, getting the away win in the midweek fixtures. Leicester, again, they're just... They're not hitting the heights that I believe they should right now. Obviously, even with Madison back, it could make some sort of a difference. That's why I've given Leicester a goal. But I don't know. I just don't think they've got it at the moment. And Brentford are definitely a team that do have it right now. And especially at home, I would be expecting Brentford to get the win. On to the team that Brentford beat in midweek, and that is Southampton. They come up against Tottenham and a revitalised Harry Kane. So... I have to look at it and say Tottenham's record against Southampton is very, very good. And Southampton, look, they got the 0-0 draw at Old Trafford. But even with 10 men, I thought Manchester United were just about the better side in that game. And then, of course, they've lost 2-0 at home to Brentford. And Tottenham defensively are very, very good. I think barring the usual James Ward-Prowse free kick, I don't really see where Southampton are going to score against Tottenham. And like I say, Tottenham's record, in particularly Harry Kane's against Southampton, is very, very good. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Spurs in that one. On to a huge game in the relegation battle. It is Wolves up against Leeds. And I'm not really sure where to put this one. Um, I'm just looking ahead and it's got the games in the wrong order. So... There's the spoiler for the next one. I've gone for 2-0 for Chelsea. Then we move back to the Wolves one where I'm going to go for 1-0. So, again, Leeds really struggling to score goals at the moment. Rodrigo is back for them. So, I'll be interested to see how much of an impact he can make. But Wolves defensively have been reasonably good as well under Julian Lopetegui. It's just been their lack of goals at the other end of the pitch that has been their problem. So really intrigued to see how this one pans out. I think, again, all three results are possible in this one. 
But I'm just going to go for 1-0 Wolves. I think Leeds are capable of getting a result in this game, like I've just said. They drew 2-2 with Brighton last time out, but they, let's be honest, they were very lucky to get the point in that one. So I'm backing Wolves to get the win, especially at home. We shall see. I've already, of course, spoiled the next result. I've gone for 2-0 to Chelsea against Everton. I don't really think I need to say too much about that. Chelsea have looked very, very impressive off the back of their game against Borussia Dortmund, which has seen them through to the next round of the Champions League. They were far, far better than their opponents last weekend with that incredible goal from Kai Havertz. And Everton, at home under Sean Dyche, have been very, very good. But away from home have been very, very poor, if we're being honest. So I'm expecting Chelsea to get the result in this one. And I am going for 2 0 And then we move on to Sunday's only game in the Premier League because there are three FA Cup games on Sunday. It is, of course, Arsenal against Crystal Palace, and we have already spoken about this. Do I think that Patrick Vieira getting sacked and a new man coming in or a caretaker manager being in charge for this weekend is going to be able to lift the Crystal Palace players to get a result against Arsenal, especially off the back of Arsenal's exit from the Europa League last night? No, um, I don't. I went for 3-0 before the news that Patrick Vieira had been sacked. And to be honest, I'm just going to stick with that. I don't think I'm in any position to just say, oh, Vieira's been sacked. I'll give Crystal Palace a goal. I'll take a goal off Arsenal. By all means, that could very much happen. But I have to look at the form. I have to look at the performances of the players over the last few weeks. And I think Arsenal take this one pretty comfortably, which will allow them to extend their lead at the top of the Premier League table with Manchester City in FA Cup action. And that is going to be it for today's video. As always, on top of all the things I've already asked you to comment, let me know down below your thoughts on my predictions and your thoughts and your predictions for this weekend's Premier League games. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you at lunchtime for my fantasy football video and for the next round of predictions tomorrow morning in the FA Cup. Thank you very much for watching.